Good morning, my people. So today, yes, stop learning how to cut and sew if you do want to watch this video. This video is very necessary. The reason why it's necessary is you can see I'm making this video when there's no light. I'm using natural light to tell you how important this video is. Now, if you are on my channel to learn how to cut and sew and you do not watch this video before continuing your journey, you might end up making mistake. You might end up thinking you are doing the wrong thing. Meanwhile, what is holding you is just little, little things you need to know. Okay? So, for you to get a perfect finishing for your cut and cutting and your sewing, it's not enough for you to say, I want to learn how to cut and sew. And then at the end of the day, when after you have after you are done cutting and sewing, your sewing comes out shabbily. Okay, and your client is asking you the reason why he should pay that amount of money simply for what you have sewn for him. Okay, that is rubbish. I want to tell us the ins, the pros and cons, the things we should learn to be able to prosper in this our sewing journey. Okay, now this is one. You have to learn how to match machine so that the your hand will be straight. Okay? Don't think you have to be a professional for you to start sewing this way. Go and master it. Place fabric on your machine. Continue running on lines. Continue running on lines. Continue running on lines until it's perf you perfect your hand. Now, even if you learn how to cut and you sew, because that's what I do majorly on my channel, even if I'm learning how to, teaching how to cut and sew, right? And at the end of the day, my sewing lines does not come out straight, okay? You can see that it turns to rubbish, right? So you have to learn how to make your lines very, very straight. That is number one. Now, number two, I'm coming to a very important part of this video where you will really need to understand. Things are very expensive in the market now. You can all agree with me. So sometimes buying trimmings might add to the expenses or the cost of your sewing and it drives a lot of customers away. Okay, so what do we do? We have to learn how to design. We have to learn how to design our fabric. It must not be embellished with trimmings and stones in the market. Like I just did this. Okay, I did this. You can see this is this is from the lace itself. Okay, just learn how to play around your fabrics. Okay, and for you to do this, there are things you need to learn. Okay, there are things you need to learn. Now, first of foremost, I want to introduce this to you. This is called stay. And I want to introduce this also. It is called hemming gum. You see, every tailor that wants to go into the ready-to-wear business must have these two items on ground. Very, very important. I've already talked about iron before. Go and get a steam iron because steam iron helps you to smoothing out your sewing makes it flat makes it stay and makes it presentable now this particular thing is called stay and it comes in different thickness there are some that are softer than this there are some that are thicker than this depending on what you want to use it for now there are some styles you see like this particular jacket here you see it standing properly and you start to wonder how did they make it to stand like this my sister there is something under now for every style this particular uh, style you are seeing jacket you are seeing there's a facing underneath now that facing underneath lay this on that facing okay lay this on the facing it will make the it will give the fabric strength okay to be able to stand now when you want to sew and you know that your hand is not strong and you know that as you are sewing your fabric fabric might be shifting please invest in this hemming gum okay invest in this hemming gum there's no light now but i need to do make this video because somebody watched my video and then told said mama 
uh, I cut and I sew, and after everything, the person was telling me that it's not neat enough. There is nothing that is not neat there. It's just you that did not do what you are supposed to do. Okay, now I've talked about having to show stitches on our fabric. Any fabric that you make, try as hard as you can to make sure that stitches do not show. And what to help your stitches not to show is this hemming gum, right? So now when you get to a point where you want to put, like this is the hemming of your gown. Okay, this is the hem. I want to assume that this is the back part. Okay, and you want to hem this area. This is your, you want to hem this area and this is the hem side of your gown i want to assume that this is the back now i will carry this hemming gum okay i will stitch this hemming gum to the edge of that my gown okay at the hem i will stitch it to this side and then i will fold it this way okay when you fold it this way iron flat it will gum so when you are stitching you try to stitch on the edge that is for the one that you want to you want the stitches to show if you don't want the stitches to show all you just need to do is gum it make sure you lay this like three times on each other one two and three so when you gum it stays permanently but in case if you don't want to uh, waste your hemming gum there's a particular hemming gum that is for hemming okay that one is permanent when it glues it glues permanently but why i like using this one is that so that in case if i made a mistake and i need to open it back it won't be difficult opening it back but if you are sure of what you cut and what you are, are doing you can use that permanent hemming gum that one holds it permanently down okay so now your ironing is very very key learn to iron what you have made learn to iron what you have made okay i've talked about embellishment you can reduce cost by using the patterns on your fabric to embellish your fabric and put just a little bit of stones okay and your fabric your design comes out very beautiful you can see this this is I made this for one of my clients and she's loving it like no tomorrow okay i just she she just told me that I, she doesn't have money to, to and then again that she doesn't have too much money i should just make her anything when i gave it to her she was like wow you know she she, she was happy paying me and you know and that is that is my joy when i make clothes for you and people love it and they say thank you and they, they wear their clothes that i come snap sometimes they snap and show to you it's a thing to be uh, grateful about okay so that is that for only where uh, another point i want to make in this video is for anywhere that there is a curve please notch you can see this is my two inches allowance i put on this uh, style when i was making it okay and this is the knee area so this knee area you are seeing is going to is like a is an a line um sorry i don't know whether this is clear but i just need to make this video the person said i should talk about it and i felt i should just make it public because i'm very very sure most other people will be passing through it now this is the knee area you can see this is my knee area right so on this knee area there is a curving because it's an a-line gown a-line skirt right please notch it you can see the way i notched mine notch it if you do not notch it this area will not uh, uh it will not slip and you'll be thinking you did something wrong because you won't even know that this is the reason because when your client will wear that cloth it will look ill-fitted it will be looking funny but you won't even know you might not even know except if you are experienced before you know that this is the reason so please notch you can see the way i notched mine just tear it a little on both sides so that it will free the fabric first in teflon let me still show us again don't bother about the depth inside, no matter how you wash it, because of the water coming from the steam iron, your eye, your teflon will definitely be as dirty as this all the time, okay? This is where you concentrate on, because this is where it's going to be facing the fabric. Please go and get this. It's very, very key. It's good for ironing fabrics like lycra, like crepe, so it doesn't give the fabric iron shine, okay? You iron with this, it will slip, it will not give your fabric iron shine as you are sewing please keep these three things by your side okay it's very very key this will add strength to 
um, to to what you are sewing. This will help always help your uh, your uh, fabric to stay in place. Yes, I know office pin can do that too, but office pin sometimes does not really hold. So it's better for me if I want to bend any part of my clothes that I want it to stay for me to be able to sew. Something like vintage material shifts a lot. Something like chiffon shifts a lot. Something like a crepe it shifts most times. Something like duchess shifts a lot. Use hemming gum, glue that place down before you continue what you are doing. Okay? It, it does not really, this is just 500 naira and you can use it for a very long time. You can use it for whatever you want to use it for. This one is stay. It comes in different, 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 different textures. Now it depends on how strong you want. But for every structured fa uh, design, like a um, structured sleeve, a sleeve that is going to stand, please use the collar stay, uh, collar stay or peplum stay. That one is stronger. It's very, very stronger. So when you use it, it will make your sleeve to stand so they want us to know about this that if you do not use these things i've told you you might end up finishing or you don't have steam iron that, that uses this. this thing is just i think it's about four thousand naira now four five or four thousand if you don't know where to buy it link me up in the in the comment section i will i will buy i can buy it and send for you okay if you don't use this you can't iron properly and you feel they wear you they battle your iron you go burn your client clothes so let's try as much as possible to reduce um little little mistakes like that so thank you guys for watching and let's go over to the next video